Uh, so, you know, uh, when Chris Hilton finally released his uh, provisional squad for the African Cup of Nations that is coming on next year, 13th January to 11th February, we saw a lot of youngsters, a lot of new players that we, we never thought of them, okay? And most of us even didn't know them unless uh, Chris Hilton named them before we started doing uh, the underground search about them. We started you know, hitting the grounds, looking after them, say, So this guy, yes, Bedu, yeah, Bedu. I'm the Bedu, Bedu, that's what I said. So I'll be telling more about him and I've seen people Action and so then I want to know more about this very player and I'll be sharing with you details about him, his profile and what uh, he can do to help the black stars. Okay, so you know that when Chris Hilton name is squad 55 provisional squad, plenty 55 or more doors or two. So we, we saw a lot of uh, young players and a lot of new players in the squad, like Brandon Asante, uh, as I, I gave you. Bondon Asante, I've told you about him, gave you his profile. He's a very good player, playing for West Bromwich in the Championship of England, as in England, okay? And also, we have a young players that also joined that they have never played for Ghana before. Some of them also have been in Ghana, but they've not played the national team. And also, we have players like uh, our Dream FC players, we have our Nation FC players, Get Olympics, Asante Kotoko. So, the Black Star Professional squad was open but some names in the squad you know generate a lot of talks okay? like uh terry Clamte's, uh situation and also to master party you know party and in terry Clamte are uh, injured and also some players are injured but they returned not long ago and they are just started playing football much more like uh the Lamati just returned to full action and uh, also alan zedrajuku also returned to full action not long ago okay so let's say like 50 percent of the black stars Squad uh, consists of players who just retain from injury, okay, and they are playing. So when you see Terek Lamte and Amate, Juku, Thomas Pate, all of them inside, it's, it's, it's a provisional squad. So provisional squad mostly are named to help, uh, you know, the nation to get more, you know, players to rely on and i think these players when they name them is give uh the players some sense of uh you know motivation so oh, still the the, the 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 team and the country also think about them okay so now let me also tell you about this one the bedu okay but before we go into the story as usual you know subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell share this very video to your friends like and also do well to comment and share to your friends okay so let's talk about bedu here you know uh michael bedu was born on may 14th 1999 uh, 1999 okay and uh, he best place was born in ghana and is a ghanian okay so his height is a uh, one uh seven uh four okay meters or meter okay he's then he's currently a ghanian international okay he position is attacking the midfielder yes like majida Ashmero and uh, also Terry Lamte, uh, Kudus Muhammad, no, yeah, that kind of attacking midfielder. So he would like to attack moving forward play. Okay, so at uh, this very season in all competition, and uh, his team that uh, he played for is uh, Elfberg. Okay, so he played for Elfberg in uh, Sweden, uh -huh, Sweden first year. Okay, so that's where he played Sweden. Okay, so this very season he has had uh, 28 appearances in all competition. 28 appearance for him and uh, he has scored five goals and seven assists seven yellow card uh -huh. so that is him he's here to receive uh, two yellow cards that will turn to red and he is here to receive a straight red card also okay so 28 appearance five goals and also seven assists is encouraging as a uh, attacking midfielder is very very good uh for him okay and uh, also when you move forward uh to starting 11 when is match day uh the chance of him starting is a uh, 93 percent so 93 percent every game he will play okay and the chance of playing for 90 minutes is 89 percent so whenever he starts uh he will play 90 percent if you take uh if he's 100 he'll play like uh, 89 percent matches okay and the goal contribution is 20 percent so he doesn't score much, but he also helped uh, to <laughs> provide assists because 
28 appearance with five goals and seven assists is okay but the uh goal participation is uh is low okay so uh he can play as attacking midfielder other positions uh is uh, as a central midfielder and right midfielder okay so he can play as a right midfielder. like could this money play at western united okay so he's there uh -huh. okay so his uh, market value for now market value for now is 2.5 million uh pounds okay 2.5 million pounds that's in the current market value okay so uh he is here to play for the senior national team the black stars of ghana but he has played for ghana under 20 that's a uh, uh, february 20 uh 2015 he played for ghana under 20 and also april 18th 2014 he played for ghana under 17 he played only one match for ghana under 17 so that is him so he is he's, he's okay he's very good player okay so playing three matches for Ghana under 20 in uh, 2015 and so playing one match for Ghana under 17 in 2014 uh, is okay so that has a uh of also or born home or so be or he be be a say uh a bit to me alpha aman okay so that is uh you know in Ghana he played for vision FC in Ghana yes vision FC in Ghana well, that was a 2017 he was playing for vision FC and uh, he moved to uh Midland, okay Midland in Denmark he also play FC Midland, and also and he has play a lot of players okay so uh you know he play a lot of clubs in in in, in that's a Denmark uh, before he moved to Sweden okay and now uh, he's currently played for one of the uh, good teams in in Sweden okay that is uh uh Elsbrook, okay Elsbrook, uh, Elsbrook. that's where he is currently playing his uh, football so this is how uh, michael bedu uh one of the new guys in the black stars there's a new boys in the black stars squad as a provisional one going for the afcon okay so he's young uh just uh 24 years of age so if we're able to make good use of him he will help ghana very very well to uh help us so let's see if uh chris Hilton will finally name him in his squad or he will give him the the exit door to pass through okay so this is it let me know what you think about michael bedu subscribe to the channel uh follow us on facebook is bedu tv instagram is bedu tv tiktok is bedu tv6 and uh, also twitter or now known as x is bedu news tv so you follow us i will follow back like your like and we like everything christmas is here be very very careful of what to drink what you eat and where you sleep it's very important let's meet another time bye bye for now bye